Since January 27, 2023, our system ranks Mullen Automotive as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 2.341. Over the next few days we will see how this evaluation performs. In our daily updates for Mullen Automotive our last headline reads, Big movements in Mullen Automotive stock price on Friday moving 11.05% between high and low. The Mullen Automotive stock price gained 2.44% on the last trading day, Friday, January 27, 2023, rising from $0.319 to $0.327. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 11.05% from a day low at $0.315 to a day high of $0.350. The price has fallen in 6 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 16.18% for this period. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 13 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 240 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $78.40 million. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $4.18 and the lowest price was $0.180. Right now the price is 92.18%, or $3.85, below 52-week high and 97.94%, or $15.57, below all-time high November 17, 2021 where the price hit $15.90. The stock lies in the middle of a very wide and weak rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend indicates a possible 4.3% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 36.41% and 34.73%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 57.55% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 100% and 98.93%. This equals a price between $0 and $0.650 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets From analysts Mullen Automotive Stock received a general neutral rating. The analysts give P.E. ratio a buy and price to book a buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the stock and strong sell rating. The following signals have been found for Mullen Automotive. The Mullen Automotive stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $0.308 and $0.289. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Thursday, January 5, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 21.79%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 16 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal not applicable days ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal 4 days ago. Long-term moving average, buy signal 21 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 19 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see short moving average, by signal 4 days ago. The long-term moving average, by signal 4 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, by signal 5 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Mullen Automotive
Mullen Automotive find support from accumulated volume at $0.314 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock may move very much during the day, volatility, and with a very large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be very high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $0.0348 between high and low, or 11.05%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 13.74%. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Mullen Automotive meets first resistance at $0.349. If you do not hold Mullen Automotive shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Mullen Automotive finds first level of support at $0.314 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Mullen Automotive is neutral. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On January 18, 2023 Mishiri David made an inside buy of 33,873,263 of common stock. On January 17, 2023 Mishiri David made an inside sell of 1,456,779 of common stock. On December 15, 2022 Puckett Kent made an inside sell of 100,000 of common stock. On December 8, 2022 Puckett Kent made an inside buy of 100,000 of common stock. On December 1, 2022 Mishiri David made an inside sell of 50,000 of common stock. Based on the 93 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be positive at a ratio of 56.560. In total, the insiders bought 147,398,910 and sold 41,812,597 shares in the last 93 trades. Our recommended stop loss is $0.307, minus 6.18%. This stock has very high daily movements and this gives very high risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found 15 days ago. Is Mullen Automotive stock a buy? Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for Mullen Automotive stock to perform well in the short term. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a sell to a buy candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For the trading on Monday 30th we expect Mullen Automotive to open up $0.0037 and start trading at $0.331. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to